Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you guys how to update your server to the 1.13 update without having to wipe your server. Now what Nitrato does, you guys have probably been notified that your DAISY server is updating by Nitrato. But what that means is that Nitrato has updated your game server with things like uh, wounds getting infected and uh, pretty much the uh, endurance on the plate carrier and such and whatever that was said by Daisy in the patch notes. Now what Nitrato can't give you is the new guns or the new things, the machetes and such, or the new zombies for that matter, without wiping your server. Now. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to update your server without wiping and just simply adding in the necessary code to have all the new stuff in your server. Now, let's get started. Uh, the very first thing you guys would want to do is obviously go to the file browser. It's going to start you off from here, Daisy Missions. Now, if you're offline, uh, Livonia, Daisy Offline Enoch would be for you. But if you're Chernoris, the Chernoris map, you want to go ahead and open the Daisy Offline Chernoris Plus. And then let's just start off with the types.xml db and then types.xml folder. Okay. I guess everyone is on Nitrato at this time. That's why it's being so slow. Okay, once you're in the types.xml file, you want to go ahead and control A to highlight the entire file. Then go on to the XML validator, which I will leave a link for you guys down in the description below. Now, once you're here and you have the file up, you want to go ahead and follow the instructions that are in the paste bin. New entry to types.xml. This is all the new added stuff. This also includes the zombies. Now, once you highlight everything that's supposed to go to the types.xml file, copy it, obviously, and uh, go ahead and paste it over here. Now, feel free to obviously mess around with the values. These are all vanilla okay once you have all that sorted you want to go ahead control a copy and paste it back to your types.xml when that is done the next thing we want to do is go ahead and add this code to the spawnable types.xml Let's get to the spawnable types.xml. Again, control A to highlight everything and paste it onto the code validator. And just if you'd like, maybe add the new code right under the M4, for example, or right above it. This is everything you have to add for the spawnable types.xml. So let's just go ahead and drop it over here. When that is all done, go ahead again, of course, copy and paste it back to your spawnable types.xml. Now, there's new entries to the events.xml as well. db events.xml go ahead again control a to highlight the entire file and then these are the two new events that we're going to be adding to the events.xml but there is also two notes here that you guys should have an eye on so on the static police car event, 
the secondary has now been changed to infected police hard the zombies static police car has or was it yeah static police car has now been changed where is the secondary where is the secondary where is the secondary? doesn't have a secondary okay so let's just give it a secondary now we're gonna go ahead and grab the secondary off a static heli crash and we'll go back to the police car static event and we'll just give it the secondary and change to the infected police hard paste that in there okay so that's all sorted there is also another note a new child is added to the infected police now infected police not the hard one just the infected police here is the new child line and that is all done for the events dot xml now we're going to paste that in once that is pasted i think the very yeah this is the very last file so a new entry to zombie territories file under the territory color here is the number which is the army you just want to go ahead and add the infected army hard now this is for chernoris only this is not for livonia if you need the livonia one go ahead and join my discord which i will leave a link for down in the description below a quick uh brief description of what my discord is all about it's it's pretty much a support group for coding to help you guys code to learn how to code or even if you're experienced and you just want to stay up to date with the game we have some really cool channels like how to spawn a sea chest how to spawn a custom car how to spawn a geared npc and literally a step-by-step -step guide in every channel and how to do it and we also have our very own general chat where you guys can literally ask me anything now back to the point the default files for Livonia you can grab the infected army hard code from my discord uh, from the default files of Livonia now copy we're going to go to the environment environment zombie territories dot xml infected army that's it that's it and your server is officially updated that's all you guys need to do thank you guys for watching the video please like and subscribe for more daisy related content and please don't forget to join my discord group we have some really cool stuff uh see you guys there and see you guys in the next video